for England sevens captain that's been here on five different occasions. Rob Vickerman, scan your eyes on these great names. Yeah, looking if we've seen the progression of Uruguay in that Challenger series, witness firsthand just how incredible those scenes were, the elation that they had. This is a very different concept coming against the most experienced professional sevens team in South Africa. They went professional back in 2009, so their systems, their processes, their protocols that they talk about all the time are well set. So this will be a great test for Uruguay. Blitzbox on the left, Uruguay on the right for their first time. Back at the Cathay Pacific, HSBC Hong Kong Sevens here at this beautiful venue. The mecca of Sevens. Crowds are back in the stands as well. It's been over three years. And we are here, stop one of 11 on the new series. JC Petourius with South Africa. Well, they've never won this event. It's the only one on the series, runners up in 09, 08, and 2017. I found that really surprising to hear that, Dan. And bearing in mind how dominant this team have been throughout the years, to get this monkey off the bat will be some claim for them. Ruben Keane from Australia is our referee for this clash. Uruguay, well, they don't just want to be on the series, they want to stay on the series. Nine players make their series debut, but several of them featured at the Rugby World Cup Sevens in South Africa in recent times. McCubbin's one of them. Former under-20 okay. player for Uruguay, the Los Terros Sevens. Time on. Selwyn Davids for South Africa is ready. They will receive. And Uruguay on white on the left view of a screen. First action of this Pool B for these two sides. One game tonight on day one. Big kick here from Lichtenstein. Comes down to Davids and takes it. JC Baturius for South Africa in midfield looking for... A ball over the top to the big Saku Makata. The batting ran goes upfield. Keeps his feet alive. Here's the Olympian from East London. Looking for a big right-footed step from Fundo and Lovu. Finds a lot of traffic though. The counter right comes in superbly. Diego Ardao, the captain of the head possession here. Brazionis. Superb into the 22. Here they come Ignacio Alvarez. Gets rid of one. But Tomas Echeverri is there with them. Advantage for Diego Ardao and Uruguay now. <laughs> Penalty. 20 offside. All of the Uruguayans within 20 metres of each other really are playing offside. a tight game and targeting that breakdown. And that is no mean feat against South Africa. They love it. This is going to be a Scrum huge gold. contest. Scrum. Well, that area in particular. I love how they've come into this game, Uruguay. Shilton van Beek getting heavily involved, but those are the new numbers on display here. Player can choose the numbers from 1 through to 99, and that's balls, the number please. for the series. Okay. What do you got, Dan? My okay. Well, my number was 10. I can't, I'm happy with that. Yourself, my friend? I thought you were going to say 21, because it's where you played more than <laughs> anywhere else. But I think I like, I like the idea of, of making it personal. You make it about, you know, your family, your, your reasons. Start to be really pr prominent in how you play the game. Well, it's good. Uruguay with Matteo Vinales loops onto the open side, creating an overlap. It's a player on that far left, they weren't able to release him. Man, where's the face mask? As here they whip it. There's space to operate here. McCubbin gets it away and then it's dropped. Tomas Echeverri with a try line beckoning in front of the south stands. Oh, what an absolute nightmare spilling that one. Everything was perfect. Preceding Echeverri will sit on that moment for a while. Quite an exquisite pass to get in this position and the rolled offload just inches too low it would have been a miracle take traveling at pace to claim that one Crap. but the slow-mo happens in your mind afterwards Fine. you've got to let it go uh, coaching crew Evo Degonjic and Guillermo Selbez look on feed for South Africa from Selwyn Davids finds Ronald Brown hold, 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 launches stop. this one towards the touchline and it's a lovely kick towards the halfway line from the little playmaker it's an interesting tactic. This would be something you see all the time in 15s, but in 7s, you don't see it as much. More often than not, you want the ball to Green, stay in. Stay but because he drills this long and it goes out, yes, they've moved up 50 metres, but now it's back to being Uruguay ball yeah. still within Fight, the South African half. So interesting tactic. They'll hope that their pressure in defence will see that has been a positive result. Yeah, it's something they pride themselves on. Their captain, Sheikh Soy's Wapi, though, is on the touchline. Their new coach is Sandile Ngobo and Phillips Neyman. Look on. Good take there from Uruguay as they drifted wide. Did a high pass there for Kobo Brazionis. Knock on. 
It's frustrating, isn't it? We've seen a couple now of these errors creeping in. And you understand there's going to be nerves, absolutely. That higher intensity, this line speed that they've never faced coming at them. The South Africans love to take that room in between you and the defenders, close you down, and that can put all types of pressure on skill sets. Well, good evening, you're joining us from Uruguay and past midday in South Africa. Brilliant to have your company here for three days of action. Back at the Hong Kong 7th, the first time since 2019. Blitz box now with Davids. Floats on the outside gap. Spins out of one. There's Mfundo and Lobo with him, former long jumper. Pretorius looking to go on the outside. This JC Pretorius gets the bump and good strong hit on him. Christy Krobola releases Ronnie B. And Lobo with a dummy. Slips out of a couple tackles, still going. Powerful legs. Brown goes to the right hand side. Saku Makata. But a good Back running start though. Ball goes back to Throbola. South Africa whip it over the top. Oh, that one's floated like a kite. Forward pass. Whoa. About eight Strong. meters forward that one. Where'd forward. the ball go? He's got it on a string. Gets the whip out of the right hand. Didn't realize it was that windy down there, pitch side. This Blitzbox team, they're looking okay, composed, set, aren't they? Bit go. of transition, as we mentioned, with the coaches. But just check out the progression and how these players in the short okay. version have really flown into Run. 15s as well. They're doing it right across the world. And certainly, Kirtley Adinsa, the new guy on the block for their set. 15s. That's inspiration for these men. Last medal from Hong Kong here was in 2018, winning the bronze final. Uruguay, though, have other ideas. They stab it ahead. One bounce towards the touchline from Ignacio Alvarez. He was probably hoping it stayed in the field of play. It definitely was that man had been chasing it. Imagine playing with that mask on. He did it in the qualifiers, and it's just a remarkable thing to be able to do. Your vision would go, your breathing would go. I wore gloves in the day, so that was enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Vickerman, South Africa. Still 0 0 in this game. First pool clash. Pretorius goes back to collect. Brown. Yeah, Davids. Man. Just using it along the chain. Penalty. Offside. Offside play. Right. So Africa will take it upfield. Offside, up early. Oh, tough on that. You have to be back 10 Marks meters. Up here on the 10. You'd think they get away with a few inches, maybe. Just trying to close down this pretty frightening machine when it gets going. Blitz box. What a remarkable year they've had. Use that word again, but it really is. They won 16. 24 games they won initially. They then had the White. really bizarre White. scenario where they. White. Lost that momentum completely. Yeah, so strange. Four goals in a row. They finished 13th in Los Angeles. A few points shy. 24 game win streak. 36 in total if you count the previous season. Pretorius again takes this time. He wants to take matters into his own hands. Does JC. Brown. A lovely step in midfield. Selvin David, just as we come to expect. He's electric. It's this young flyer, and he has the first points in Hong Kong for South Africa. He certainly is electric, isn't he? Magic in the foot. It's the ability to step, change that direction, but keep the pace going so high. And the procession of Colby, Speckman, these wonderful players. I mentioned Kirtley Adenso, another one this weekend will be doing his thing. All of these players have an incredible ability to impress on a sevens field. Well, this try here equals the record set by Paul True, the former South African sevens player and coach from back in the day. 70 tries for Salvin Davids. Brown adds the extra 7-0 in the first half with a final play to go before the half-time break. Try scorer himself, Davids, the huge left boot as Pretorius ranging down on this one but it's collected by Uruguay as they bundle into touch it's a half-time whistle here in this pool b game on day one of the hong kong sevens and south africa have a slender lead against uruguay they're up by seven points to nothing well a good strong first off you could say by uruguay really just one line break from the south africans they're brilliant god i mean the uruguayan team would be Boyd with enthusiasm after that first half. They were abrasive, they got stuck into the South Africans. 
and even with them having a bit of possession, only got that one line break and score at the end of the first half, which was actually an extra time. So really commendable effort. Uruguay, having seen them, they really do get stuck in. The things that aren't necessarily down to talent, they do really well in. Whereas this South African team, they're blessed with some wonderful individual ability. Instruction. They've been in the system before because they've been with the academy program as well. Both players know the system well. Big shoes to fill though. Neil Powell did wonders. You mentioned Paul True as well before. He's the one that really started that movement, the catalyst for them all being professional back in 2009. And consistent success throughout. They've never ever been too far away. One of the hardest teams to play on the seven series. And the strength and depth is the thing that makes them so exceptional. And that man talking, another one. It's the 20th time we're here for the Cathay Pacific HSBC Hong Kong Sevens on the series. And South Africa lead 7-0 against Uruguay. Match is still to come in the superstition. New Zealand against Samoa. Doesn't get tastier than that in Pool A. That should be a bruising encounter. And then the host Hong Kong take on Australia to close things up in Pool A of day one. The former just one game on the Friday for each side. Eight in total. South Africa, second on the series last year. Champions on the series in 2009, 2017, 2018 and 2021 under Neil Powell. Second half, blitz box kicking off from left to right. It's a low driving kick. Comes away here. Matteo Vinales does well for Uruguay. He steps backwards though. The man with a face mask takes on a couple of players. James McCubbin is with him. World Rugby under 20 player for his country. Short ball, but a dummy there from Guillermo Lichtenstein. The man they call Tito that works in physiotherapy clinic in prisons and schools. Look forward to hearing the nicknames progress for Uruguay throughout the year, Dallin. Certainly got the phantom, that's obvious. You know they're coming, Rob. It's the fun and we totally. expect in the series. And now we can do it with numbers as well. That's true. A lot of in innovations happening here. Hold, hold Unique your space, numbers okay. players can choose between 1 and 99. That's their series number. Uruguay to feed this line up. Nice little loop there from Luchtenstein. It's a flat ball and a good line, but he's left it behind. Ronald Brown looking at a counter-attack. He stabs over. a kick over the top for himself, does Brown. Awkward bounce comes out to Brown. Magic little play in the end, fortuitous for South Africa. Third Penalty time, comes their way. Christy Krobala, the 22-year-old, out of Droste High School, goes quickly to David, shifts it away beautifully. Shulton van Beek runs into the far side. And finally, South Africa unlock the D and get their second score. Well, that's the difference of intensity in this game we've witnessed so far. Uruguay, they went hard and straight. The restart spilled the ball. And this is where South Africa will really punish you. Bit of a decision on the end. Understandably, McCubbin trying to get in the way of the passing line. But Van Beek, he's got the wheels to benefit from David's pass. The skip step, we see it so many times with these wonderful playmakers. You can't stop it. That bounce gets them on the outside. The ball is freed up, and then it's all about the wheels. That conversion is over as well. 14 0 South Africa lead. Shulton van Beek. First time we saw him was in Dubai this year. The team DJ. I wonder if he plays as good a tunes as we hear it out of Hong Kong. Getting the party started for the first time in three years. Selvin Davids goes deep. Back it's been left green, behind. Captain Ordao is there trying to get it free, but Ryan Ustase is on the field and he says, no, you won't. No. They're the enforcers, aren't they? Visser, White, stay here. The two bash brothers on this near side. Let's get, let's get. Probably are looking alongside Ronald Brown. Let's get, let's get. Probably are alongside. It's a formidable trio. Well, those Afrikaans names will give you trouble, Rob Vickerman. <laughs> 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 Probably are. 
to the back they go to Wusthuizen. Van Veek in midfield, the stepper releases Davids. A couple of great little left footers steps. Look at this guy go. Amazing feet. Flicks it over the top to your man Krobola now. Christy Krobola has got great speed. Well contained though. The good hit comes in from Echeverri. Ball is there for Uruguay. Just down by those two converted tries. First time on the series as a core side, but now they find themselves in all sorts of trouble. The ball down on the ground. Probably wants it. It'll be a scrum for the Blitzbox. Could also say just how yeah, much desperation we're seeing from Uruguay. Time off, please. Their line is so hard to cross because of that desperation they have. The commitment on the floor, throw themselves all over the place. Yeah. I do wonder if they can keep this up throughout the whole tournament, but at the moment, they're going good guns. Just 14-0 back down against the second seed, South Africa. Okay. It sounds strange to say, but it'd be a good place to be for them. It really is. Only their third time in Hong Kong, playing in 09 in 2012. What a stage two perform on for Uruguay. South Africa, Ronald Brown, a quick tap. Open spaces of note. And South Africa... Oh no. Might not have their third. Oh no. The reaction there from the players says it all. The first thing, Ronald Brown was bored in the end goal. No one was chasing him. But he's lost it. Oh, that's the blooper reel right there. Ronald Brown normally on the highlight yep. side of things. Ouch. Oh, he's made all the okay. worse by him being able to Thank just you. walk it's around gone. the end goal as well. No try. Dig that hole and have a jump in. Okay. Okay. Oh, Brown saying, stop Wait, showing white. the replay, please. <laughs> Stay down. It's dangerous, okay? Stay down. It was from the tap, though. Nobody reacted whatsoever. Okay, back on. Crowd. What a fun he has been though, over the years. Named South Africa seventh player of the year, 2021. Nominated for SA Sports Awards, newcomer of the year in March of this year as well. Uruguay, though, with under three to play, smash it in midfield. It's a good, strong carry from Batista Basso. Man, it's also on debut out of the Peñarol Rugby Club. First professional side in Uruguay playing in the slower competition. The ball split three, though, for South Africa. Here comes Ronald Brown. He'll take this one to the house and make no mistake with the dive as well. The Blitzbox do have their third try. Well, he's put the fingers in the ears just in case anybody was booing. But that's how you make amends. There was no chance of him doing anything other than diving over the line, but it's great play again from the forwards, kicking that ball clear. Open track in front of him, only going to be one outcome. Interesting to say in rugby league, they only ever dive over the line for exactly the reason we just saw. We'll check it out. Ronnie Brown back on it. And the conversion to match as well. 21 points to nothing. It smiles back on the face of Ronald Brown and South Africa. Sliding on this turf in Hong Kong. On the park now is Duvalt Schumann. It goes down the middle with Shilton van Beek chasing, but it's a lovely capture here from Uruguay. Down they go, Ignacio Facciolo. And they play his rugby in Montevideo, part of the under-20 side as well. Ordao, the captain, in support there from Vasso. Looking to come back to the short side, they step through Marcus Pastore. Oh, the old boys rugby club. Oh, good little no-look pass from Lichtenstein, though. Hey, 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 Knocked hey. on, though. I've got it. Not fine. A bit feisty in the middle. It's unnecessary, OK? Got to hope that Uruguay just somehow crossed the line. I think it'd be just for their efforts. And opening rounds that have seen GB get a heavy loss, as well as Canada, just 21 nil down. They will be taking this to the first step as a core team on the HSBC Seven Series. Uruguay going to keep battling away. Set. Uh, Branko de Priya, South African legend, the most successful player with 23 cup titles to his name, finds Divock Humai. Big jump step from the fresh legs from Shake Soys, Wapi, the captain. Is on the park here. He clatters his way upfield. Man of Dell College in the Eastern Cape. Boy Stason finds Grobola. Wimpy Fisser is with him here on this near side. He beats one. 
Behind the back pass, though, to Van Vake. It's OK. He eludes a couple, and he's still going. Here's Shilton Van Vake, and eventually does spill it. And it's knock on. Ignacio. Bacciolo. Now the north short side that worked for Uruguay get a penalty. Three high tackle. Final moments in this game. 21 points to nothing. They trail. It's been a great introduction for them here as a core side in the HSBC World 7 Series. Down the short side they go yet again. Bautista Basso, very active in this game. Bumps one and gets the fend as well on worst days. And Carlos Dius plays it away. Over. The cross field to Ordao. This step there from Irulegi. It's Branco de Pierre tries to pinch it. Uruguay keep possession. Doing really well. Carlos Dius yet again. As they range up here with Basso. Second penalty here for no Uruguay. Release. They tap yet again. Lichtenstein across. Ordao off the right. Stutter step. Warren then bumps off one. Beautiful offload in that far corner. Looking to cut back in. Jose Irulegi getting very close. Penalty goes the other way, though. As Branco de Pierre talk about this guy's success in the game. He defines this modern day sevens player both sides of the ball commitment to the last commendable from uruguay for south africa pretty happy with that a new era has begun for the blitz box and their new coaches sadile ngobo and philip snayman victorious in their first pool game here in hong kong they defeat uruguay by a score of 21 points to nothing